doing? Hey man, I'm alright bro. Good to see you. Welcome yeah. to RX Radio. Man, this is a great place. This is awesome. Yeah, this is where we make it happen. Yeah. So tell the people what you want to talk about next time on my show. Well, I, when I was coming over here, I was in a border border. Okay. So the border border guy, he brought me from Village Mall to here. And he's like, Pastor, what about this thing of DNA? DNA. Is DNA. Yeah, he was saying DNA. And he says, you know, when we have children outside, we have to take care of the children. But the, when the women produce the children who are not ours, they want us to take care of them. And I'm like, so it sounded, he's like, what are we going to do? So anyway, uh, <laughs> I, I think there's a lot of uh, distress on the ground. Yeah. And then I saw, I saw people say, why, why is this? Anyway, uh, I, I wanted uh, Sarah Opendi say that this is homosexuals who are pushing. Now, I think that's a bit of a straight. I do think so. I don't think there's a connection <laughs> between the two things. What I do know is that a lot of people are, are excited about the whole DNA thing, uh -huh. which for me is quite hilarious because, you know, me, who's the anti-marriage guy, uh -huh. I've been preaching the message mm -hmm. that, guys, you need to know that the ladies are out there running around. Mm -hmm. You can't trust them. Mm -hmm. And you've been calling me a hater. But now you have empirical evidence to attest to the fact mm -hmm. that not all is as good as it seems. That our ladies out there are just as mischievous as the guys. No, but, oh, oh, so right. now you know. Uh, no, no. DNA has shown you uh -huh. that some of the children you think are yours aren't even yours. Not yours. So. You're right. Uh, but the problem is not the women. And the problem is not marriage. The problem is the absence of the law against adultery. Well, what will the law do? No, were the people committing adultery while there was still a law? No, this is, actually if you look, it's in, in 2003, 2004, uh -huh. is when Sylvia Tamale, Dora Biamukama, and a couple other lawyers, these are feminists. They didn't like, they, they want to they want be free to do whatever they do, run around, sleep around. And so Sylvia Tamale used some kind of technicality that the requirements of the law for women were somehow not equal for the requirements of the man in terms of being found guilty of what? Adultery. So let's be knocked off. Now, when the law was knocked off, it was assumed the law would be brought back with equal requirements. It's not. It's now 20 years later. 20. When you don't have a law, it takes a while for behaviors to catch up and you begin to see the results of this. And in fact, most of the kids being talked about this is the 2004 up to 2024 20, generation. So all these kids that the DNA tests are showing are not the kids of the fathers mm -hmm. uh, that are going for these tests. You're saying this is as a result of adultery being decriminalized. So take oh, off the Enanga, J James, Enanga, I, I just saw in the news, I don't, can't recall the date, Fred Enanga made a press conference we, because a man found his woman sleeping with another guy, took him to the police in several cases, and another says, hey, don't bring those cases to us. We ha don't have a law. Let them bang each Let other. Let it not be a criminal issue. Let it be a social issue. For people like you, cultural, you know, like um, spiritual leaders, mm -hmm. religious leaders, to be the ones to counsel people. You no. Know, people who want to get married, no. counsel them no. before they get married. This is why it shows it doesn't work. So no. counseling doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. Just I told it, you. I, no, putting on, putting on feeling. Oh, people will do good things because they they are good. No, you must put the law in place and tell people, look, if you screw around, you're gonna get in trouble. If you screw someone's wife, you're gonna be in trouble. It's wrong before God. It's wrong to the man, and it's wrong. Police should get you and throw you in jail. Look, all these guys who are sleeping around there be a lot of fear of God. Uh -huh. So I want to do a campaign. First thing we need to do is we need to have reconciliation. Repentance, reconciliation. Look, people been shocking around, they gotta repent. People did, they gotta repent. Then two, men gotta take over the children. We gotta accept the children. Look, I was born in illegitimacy. I was raised by my uncle. So this is personal for you? Yeah, it's personal. All right, so we gotta talk about this next on the show. We're gonna dive in and get into all the nitty gritties and all the details. And I want, the, I want the law in place that can be able to cause the fear of God. So he says. That's right. We'll see about that. <laughs>